what happens when conflict arises? So I think our elementary learners are such a great illustration. So when conflict arises, they know immediately that they go to solve it themselves. And once in a while, we'll see the new learner kind of come in mm. and they'll be looking back and turning their shoulder like, aren't you going to do something about this? <laughs> like, wait, aren't you going to, aren't you going to intervene? And there's times where we're like, we don't know how <laughs> this is going to turn out, you know, where we can see writing on the wall and we're like, oh, it's heated, it's heated, it's heated. And then in the heat of that moment, that child makes the decision, I need to take a break. And you're like, oh, like it's that it's these big moments. Sometimes we sit there and we feel like we're watching this movie unfold before our eyes. And so when that conflict arises, we've worked on different solutions together as a group. Mm -hmm. We do these launches often, weekly, like several times in a week, sometimes where we talk about hard stuff that might come our way. What's a way we might be able to handle it. Mm. So it's almost sometimes like we're front loading that um, through these Socratic discussions, we're kind of front loading potential issues and problems that are going to arise for people. And then they remember in that moment what to do. Now, there's been times where that doesn't work, mm -hmm. where we have four nine-year-old boys who are all super competitive who say, you're out, you're out. No, you're out. I said you were, you know, and it's the back and forth and back and forth. And we just kind of turn and, and walk away and listen to the dialogue that happens. Mm -hmm. And, you know, 90% of the time there's a solution. 10% of the time they can't find a solution or mm -hmm. a resolution, but they will choose to walk away from each other. Mm-hmm. We've, we have yet to have someone punch them in the <laughs> right, face, right, right. you know, like a knock them out or, or uh, because they do know, like, we do have respect for one another, even mm -hmm. if we don't see eye to eye or agree, we do have respect for one another. And we learn that through these experiences, I might not always like the person that I'm with, right. or I might not want to be friends with somebody today. That doesn't mean that that I'll never be friends. It means I need to take a break from you, but they're developing that within themselves. It's mm -hmm. not me saying you need to go take a break. Mm -hmm. It's, it's them or it's another, an older learner intervening and they're helping to co-regulate with them. You know, they're mm -hmm. calm. They come into this situation in a calm way and then they see, well, maybe I should handle this calmly. Mm -hmm. And I've watched this happen. Actually, it hasn't just been older. It's been our youngest learners sometimes are the greatest show of this. Mm. <laughs> if the adult gets out of the way, they totally negotiate and say, well, I'm not going to sit with you. Well, I'm not going to sit with you. And then they go off on their separate ways. But two hours later, they're together again. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. they're the greatest evidence of that, that if we take the brakes off of them, let them make those decisions when they're young, it does transfer with them. It's when we get in the way and we teach them the wrong way to do this, they, mm. they're, they're programmed to be like this. Most children are. Mm -hmm. it's, it's us that get in the way and, and remove that. And then all of a sudden place their ability to make a good decision in our laps. And it's not our job. It's right. not our responsibility. Mm -hmm. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr.